Have you ever found yourself deeply connected to the emotions of those around you, yet craving solitude more often than not? If so, you may resonate with a particular archetype often referred to as the lone wolf empath. This term describes individuals who possess strong empathic abilities, enabling them to absorb and understand the emotions of others, often deeply and intensely. However, what sets these individuals apart is their preference for solitude. They often navigate life primarily on their own, choosing the peace and quiet of their own company over the complexities and emotional demands of close relationships. Their journey is a delicate dance between connecting with others and retreating into their own world to recharge and process their emotional experiences. This balance allows them to stay true to their empathic nature while protecting their emotional well-being. If you can relate to this, you might be what is often referred to as a lone wolf empath. Now let us delve into the key characteristics that define a lone wolf empath. Firstly, they are deeply empathetic. This is not your run-of-the-mill empathy. We are talking about an intense ability to absorb and understand the emotions of others, be they overt or subtly hidden, the joy, the pain, the confusion of others, they feel it all, and sometimes more intensely than the individuals experiencing these emotions themselves, then there is a marked preference for solitude. While they do value connections with others, they need their alone time to recharge, to process the vast array of emotional energy they absorb from their surroundings. Social interactions, while appreciated, can often leave them feeling drained, necessitating a retreat into solitude to recalibrate their emotional compass. Their relationships are selective, chosen with care and deliberation. They gravitate towards individuals who respect their need for space and who understand their empathic nature. Their circle of close friends may be small, but the depth of these relationships is profound. They possess a strong inner world. This is a realm rich in introspection and self-discovery, often finding solace in the tranquility of nature, the freedom of creative pursuits, or the peace of spiritual practices. Next, they are experts at boundary setting. They know how to create and enforce emotional boundaries, which act as a protective barrier against negativity and emotional overload. This skill is pivotal to their emotional well-being, an independent spirit courses through them. Resourceful and self-sufficient, they often prefer to grapple with challenges on their own. They value their autonomy and the freedom to make their own choices, yet beneath their strong and independent exterior, they harbor a certain vulnerability. They may grapple with feelings of loneliness or being misunderstood, but they find ways to nurture their emotional needs through their rich inner world and their carefully chosen connections. And there we have it. These characteristics, though not exhaustive, provide a comprehensive picture of what defines a lone wolf empath. They are deeply empathetic, prefer solitude, are selective in their relationships, have a rich inner world, are adept at setting boundaries, possess an independent spirit, and despite their outward strength, are vulnerable. It's important to remember that being a lone wolf empath isn't about isolation or antisocial behavior. It's about choosing to navigate life in a way that respects and nurtures their profound empathic abilities. And so, while the term lone wolf empath is not a clinical diagnosis, it does provide a useful frame of reference to understand this unique personality type. Each lone wolf empath's journey is distinct, shaped by personal experiences, strengths, and challenges. These characteristics, though not exhaustive, provide a comprehensive picture of what defines a lone wolf empath. In addition to these characteristics, there are further insights into the life and experiences of a lone wolf empath. These individuals often have rich and complex inner lives filled with experiences that shape their unique empathic abilities. Many lone wolf empaths have experienced past emotional trauma or betrayal. This can lead them to prefer solitude over social interactions, as it offers a safe haven where they can process their feelings without the fear of further pain. It's not that they shun all connections, but they are selective, preferring quality over quantity, and they value relationships where they feel understood and respected. When it comes to therapy, lone wolf empaths can face unique challenges. Traditional therapy settings, where the sharing of deep emotional content is common, can be overwhelming for them. Imagine walking into a room and feeling all the emotions of everyone present. It's like a tidal wave of feelings and it can be incredibly draining. 
Therefore, they might need alternative therapeutic approaches such as nature therapy or art therapy. Interestingly, many lone wolf empaths discover their empathic abilities early in life. They might have felt different from their peers, sensing emotions and energies that others didn't seem to notice. Over time, they learn to navigate these abilities, developing coping mechanisms and strategies to handle the emotional overload they often experience. And let's not forget the value of a lone wolf empath as a companion or confidant. Their ability to deeply understand and empathize with others makes them exceptional friends and partners. They can offer a listening ear, a comforting presence, or insightful advice, all without judgment. They may not have a wide social circle, but the connections they do form are profound and meaningful. These insights offer a deeper understanding of the complexities and nuances of being a lone wolf empath. It's not a path without its challenges, but it's one that can lead to a life of deep understanding, rich inner discovery, and meaningful connections. Understanding the concept of a lone wolf empath provides an interesting perspective on how different individuals navigate their emotional experiences. These unique beings, deeply empathetic yet favoring solitude, forge their own path through the emotional landscape. Their selective relationships, rich inner world and strong boundary setting skills are just some of the attributes that define them. They are the embodiment of an independent spirit, yet beneath their strength lies a layer of vulnerability. While this term is not clinically recognized, it serves as a descriptor for those who resonate with these traits. Remember, each person's journey with their empathic abilities is singular and personal. Some may have faced past traumas, while others might find traditional therapeutic settings challenging due to their sensitivity. Despite these potential hurdles, they are often the best confidants, offering deep understanding and non-judgment. So, if you identify with these traits, remember, the path of a lone wolf empath is a valid and unique way of experiencing the world, offering a profound depth of understanding and connection on your own terms.